welcome back to my next video on Vedic Astrology. Today I am going to speak to you about a very scientific method of uh, conducting research in Vedic Astrology. Scientists across the world dismiss astrology without even giving it a fair trial. It is the most unscientific way because science itself says the scientific method is like this. The steps of scientific method are to ask a question, do background research, construct a hypothesis, test your hypothesis by doing an experiment, analyze your data and draw a conclusion, then communicate your results. Without doing all this, you find many people across the world just pushing aside astrology as a mere nonsense. Whereas anything that comes under the name of science is readily acceptable. You don't even check whether that is a truth. How to conduct research in Vedic astrology? That is the topic. To do this, you need data, right? So you have to ask a question first. So what is the question? The question is, does the rule of becoming extremely wealthy work in a horoscope? To do this, you need to find or to get hold of all the rules in Vedic astrology that relates to the rules of wealth or what is called the Dana Yogas. So how do you find them? By classical books. Read them under the chapter Wealth. You find out all the rules and pick out the more important rules. Like in the ocean there are big fish and medium sized fish and small fish. We have the big rules in Vedic astrology. So at least note down the big rules of wealth or the wealth giving combinations in a horoscope and then collect horoscopes of 10 to 20 or even 50 extremely wealthy people. Why should we study the horoscopes of uh, extremely wealthy person? The reason is in extreme cases the rules will show up very well. If it is in the middle for example uh, medium wealth or average etc. Obviously the horoscope will have combinations for both wealth and also for poverty and so they balance each other and that's why we have the middle situation. Suppose a person has got many number of combinations indicating poverty then that person will be very poor. So collect the horoscopes of uh, extremely poor people and then keep them in two different groups take the rules apply it to both the groups and soon you will find that people are wealthy only because their horoscopes indicate wealth. For argument's sake you will say that uh, those who are putting in a lot of efforts are actually the more uh, wealthier one or you will even say that those who are more intelligent are the actually wealthy people or uh, you would say that uh, those who do smart work are actually the wealthy people and that's got nothing to do with the horoscopes. But the theory of horoscope is that if you are to become wealthy, you will put in your effort, you would be intelligent and uh, you would be putting in smart work. So they will all both go together. So being smart, being intelligent and uh, you know uh, working very hard are all also part of the package of becoming wealthy. And you should always choose, choose topics that have very clear cut answers or it is it can be answered through astrology don't ask questions like uh, uh, what combinations will lead to a person buying a ferrari car or you know some particular car or something or all that does you know is not part of astrology so find out the limitations of astrology and keep within those limits another interesting area of uh, research would be what are the combinations which indicate a troubled marriage, a greatly troubled marriage, a quick divorce, etc. The very clear-cut answers, a very clear-cut situation and then you are looking for very 
clear cut answers and then you want to find out what are the combinations which give them give people a very happy marriage so to do this uh, take the horoscopes of uh, those people living in India in case you are studying about divorce because divorce is very rare uh, or as a low frequency in India and keep these horoscopes and keep the rules of uh, divorce with you and uh, start applying the rules and see whether it matches it will match the famous rules of uh, divorce uh, are the uh, connections between the seventh house lord and the sixth house in any manner or the seventh uh, the lord of the seventh or the seventh afflicted there are some three or four rules that's all and uh, you also need to uh, note down the upapada lagna and find uh, if from the point which is called UL um, you have uh, bad planets either in on UL or the seventh from itself or in the second from the UL. So if you have bad planets then the marriage is usually a failure. So you, you start verifying this way and uh, 9 out of 10 horoscopes or sometimes even 10 out of 10 you will find that those who have had uh, a quick divorce had also the combination for divorce. Now how do we prove the other side? The other side is happy marriage combination. So don't use, uh, uh, let not the data be taken from Indians because most of the time they somehow manage uh, to solve the issues with marriage. So uh, take case studies from places where divorce is very common and in such places if somebody has a a happy marriage that survives for more than 25 years that is almost like uh, making it to the Guinness Book of World Records. So in that place, from that place you try to take the data and see if the horoscope and the rules match. And then you can also conduct research in uh, areas like no children, that is childlessness, because it's very clear, you know, no children at all. So, find out all the rules that indicate childlessness, and then see in both the cup, you know, the husband and the wife who are childless. Start collecting this data and keep it in a separate notebook or a file, and then have on the front, you know, the first sheet of the notebook must be the rules of childlessness, and you will find that it always applies collect the horoscopes of uh, 10 to 20 top actors and try to see if there is a pattern and there is a pattern I have collected around uh, 50 to 60 horoscopes of top actors and they all have a pattern it's just the same though the planets might be in different positions the lordships for example the fifth lord which is the planet which is the house that connects to cinema or entertainment is always related to the 10th house and the 11th house in all the cases. Some of the 5th and the 10th and the 11th are interrelated. So, if you start studying the horoscopes of people who are actors for one or two years, then you will be definitely not getting the, uh, you won't see the pattern. So, you need to only study the extremes and soon you will be on your way to proving astrology. Does this method work? It does. Because in the year 1988, I told my boss, I was in software then, I told him that I am going to systematically disprove Vedic astrology. He asked me how, I told him that this is how I am going to take up a topic, then note down the rules and start collecting horoscopes and that's what I did. But in the end, I started believing astrology because the rules always work. I hope you enjoyed this video and please come back for my next video. Thank you.